How are you doing, Ted? Hmm? Look like you're about running yourself out of juice there, buddy. All right, Ted, or, Ted and I are on state property now. We're in what I call the rock field. Because there's flat rocks, some round rocks, but mostly flat rocks everywhere. Almost looks like uh, foundation stone or something. It's interesting. Because it's just these perfectly flat rocks all over the place. It'd be great if you were building a house, but I mean they're they're littering the whole side of the hill. So when we when we came in here the last time, we didn't we didn't know that it was state property because <clears throat> we were following the deer path, and I thought that maybe somebody had a uh, foundation or something up here, and then maybe some kids threw it over the side. But as far as I can tell, we're not near any actual structures, so this must be. Must be natural occurring rock, I guess. That's just over the years slid down the, the hillside. I just thought it was kind of cool. That's a nice tree. It's a really beautiful area. So you get this little clearing here, and then uh, get a nice view of the mountain on the other side. I think we got Greylock to our left here. I don't know what this one is. Gonna have to look on the map again. You'd think, seeing as it's only 10 inches away from my house, I'd remember. Williams, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I'll have to look that up. So, on the map that I'll tag to this, we came from right there. So, here's the mountain. We came from this way and went through the woods. Right, Ted? kind of a hike and I gotta get him I gotta get him back because uh, we don't have any water with us and we're we're not that far out we're like a 30 minute clip so it's not super bad but it's still 30 minutes so I'll head back before my dog dies good idea okay all right so I'm back through here on the trail now just wanted to show you a little bit of this. So I just thought this was sort of cool. Nice little walk through the woods. Ted likes it out here because this gives him a chance to actually be a dog. Where is Ted, you might ask? He is out there somewhere being a dog. I have no idea where he is. I know he's with me because every once in a while he shows up. But you know, if I come around level, Notice what a drop that is. Oh, hey, Ted. There he is. Came up behind me there. It basically pitches right off the side of the hill. And this was um, all part of the farmer's field before this, the state ended up with it. So, just to show you how long ago it's been, got some good old fashioned barbed wire here that was in this little tree, apparently. Kind of amazing to see that, you know, because you know this was just a little tiny tree when those wires went in. And now it's a tad bigger. Just goes to show you what a tree can survive, too. It's multiple strands of uh, barbed wire, and it doesn't seem like it's done it any harm over the years, because it's that's a good-sized tree. Although, if you come running through the woods, like some of these deer obviously have, well, but... Uh, I'll bet deer wish they could get tetanus shots. And you got some interesting ones here because you got trees that obviously weren't old enough to be part of the original fence. And yet they managed to either grow up against it or what have you, and now they're part of the they're part of it. And you got that there, that's nailed to it. So this looks like hemlock, which is probably why that has it rotted. And this here looks like it's grown right into a knot somehow. Or it's grown through the tree, actually. Nope, that's what it is. So it's not a knot. It's grown through the tree. 
So I take that last part back. And here you got another big monster. Wow, that is a really big monster. We don't get too many really big trees like this in the Northeast. A lot of this area had been uh, uh, clear cut, I guess, back in the 40s or what have you. It's always interesting to see this big growth. It's even more interesting to see weird stuff like this. Because like that, you know that can't be that old if that, that clip is in there. Because the clip's exposed. So somebody had to do some maintenance on this in like the last 40 years or so. Which is interesting. Because this has been state property for years. So, I don't know. And the state doesn't maintain any of this stuff. Especially not, uh, not this stuff. They're not real big on maintaining barbed wire for obvious reasons. Anyways, I'm going to get back on the deer path here. And as you can see where Ted is down here, Ted was already headed home. He's waiting for me. I don't think Ted likes to be. Hey, how you doing, dude? Are you waiting for me? I'll bring you back to the puddle, okay? Let's go, oh, Ted. How you doing, buddy? All right, so our tree with the three dots is back there. That's the state property. I know, Ted, too much video, I get it. And then I'm here. Theoretically, this property is property of the people that we know. That property is property of the people that we don't know. So I assume that means the people that we don't know are the ones putting up these paper signs. But they look like they've been here for a little while. So I don't know. Like I said, the signs aren't the signs aren't signed. So you don't really know who owns them. And then everyone's want to see the red property markers, so I know their property starts up there. So I guess they just kind of went through the woods and Melpel put signs wherever they could put them. I don't know. Kind of odd. I think the signs have been there for a while, so who knows? They could have been done like 10 years ago. And maybe maybe they did write something on them and it just, you know, they wrote it in Sharpie or something and it came off. But I don't see anything on any of these. Would be interesting, at least to know, like if, if it had that property owner's name, at least I'd know that's who it was but anyways we're just walking through here so it really doesn't matter anyhow and I'm pretty sure because of the uh, the landscaping that's well I'm not pretty sure I'm positive that's the people that I know but I just wasn't sure if that was which which people this was on this side or if this was actually marked by the people I know years ago it just seems kind of strange because it's facing the wrong property so I think I think the thing that gets me I thought I was just fascinated by those post-it signs is there are no post-it signs here at all and unless I'm curving or curving this way actually I'm either farther on the property of the people I know or I'm starting to get into the property of the people that I don't know and they just didn't have posted signs. Because there's no more of the uh, the red markers from the state here. So, it's kind of interesting. And on we go. How you doing, Ted? Whenever you take a walk with Ted, Ted takes a walk by himself, too. And he is quite often gone for like five or ten minutes at a shot because like this particular hike takes us about 30 minutes or at least that was the last time when I GPS it. it took 33 minutes from beginning to end and of that time Ted was with us for probably literally 15 minutes and then the rest of that time he spent out in the other regions I don't know where he was he knows went down a hill looking for water looking for bugs to eat, who knows what. Because a lot of times he'll come back and he'll have had a drink of water. And uh, there's nothing up here. 
And the only river's down at the bottom of the hill. He also picked up probably 14 or 15 ticks the last time that we came up. There was a little, uh, uh, I forget what they call them. It's a little tiny ticks. It's when they're first hatched. We'll call them ticklets. Anyways, we had to give him a bath the other day. And I'll probably have to do the same thing coming down today. It depends on where he went. Because I think the last time he must have gotten into a, uh, a nest. And the nest of ticks is usually like about the size of a dime. How you'd manage to find that in the middle of all this. I really couldn't begin to tell you. Ticks are pretty fascinating creatures. Sorry, Ted. Ticks are pretty fascinating creatures because when you figure that they're standing here on the side of the trail waiting with their little fingers outstretched, just waiting for their entire lives sometimes for a meal to come by, that's a, that's a pretty crappy existence. I almost feel bad for them. But then again, I remember that they're horrible little creatures that share Lyme disease with us and all sorts of other horrible elements, and I would just as soon uh, see them go completely extinct. So yeah, I'm not feeling terrible for them, just felt a little bad. All right, I'm a little better than halfway back. And once again, Ted's gone. I have no idea where he went. Hopefully he knows where I am. Yep, can't even hear him. I know the river's that way. So that's, that's back toward the house. I can kind of hear that. I don't know if you can hear that on camera or not. Probably not. Okay. Continuing on. Well, hello, Ted. How you doing, buddy? So this was probably about two minutes since I last. Hey, come here. Let me see your face. Hey, Ted, come here. Okay, sit. 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 Okay, his tongue is totally wet and his feet are a different color. They're not um, not clay anymore. So obviously he found some water somewhere. Interesting. Could have brought me back some. Okay, well you go where you're gonna go, man. Yeah. So he's going that way. Home is this way. See you later, Yorkie. Almost back to the house. So if I'm quiet for a second here, you'll be able to hear the river. Actually, you can hear the, the river pretty loud there. Oh, hi, Ted. Nice of you to join us again. And once again, Ted's got a clean tongue again, so that means he's probably already been to the river and back. I wish I had that kind of energy. Technically, we're both the same age. But, uh, yeah. I don't feel like Ted feels. And home sweet home. Ted's going into cool down mode. That's the end of our hike. <laughs> you enjoy that, Ted? Yeah, shaking off in the water, that's gonna work out awesome. You're a trooper, little man. All right, that's it. Say goodbye, Ken.